Alrighty, let's play this level first. It's on the short side. Let me play this again. That's cute. All right. And you're saying here, uh, first pass, only first pass, not looking for any comments particularly, just whatever you think needs to be improved. Um, I would say, watch out, I will probably avoid covering faces, even though it's just a couple of frames. There's so much room here that you could tweak it, and it goes into the second note of, I know this is visually in 2D space different. If you just look at that, if you'd fill out the silhouette, I totally get it. At the same time, it just feels a bit simple with somewhat, again, for her twin, I know it's visually different, but there's just something about this feeling a bit too simple, to be honest. This, like, this could be a really cute moment, like this could be anything, where it's, ah, oh, it's, today's a nice day, or welcome, giant, or look at the sun, nice day today. This could be kind of anything, it's, I feel like. Again, this is very, it's a very silly note where like make it, you know, add more personality. I know this is not easy, but ideally I wish this would be something a bit more specific to her or she gets a bit more excited about it with like a little something, at least with the hands and fingers. So she might have a little jumping around a little bit. I don't know, there's something where I feel like this could be more complex in terms of a character getting ready to catch someone she really likes. Like that is really cute. Like this. Is really nice. I like the, the catching and then you have the, the little squeeze. It's almost like I would hold this for a couple of frames longer. She does a uh, mm, and then immediately this. I think this could be a catch mm, and then turn into, into that. Watch out. This is mm, it's okay. For a moment I thought she's going to look at me. And this is cute, but then I would involve these a bit more. I know this is kind of pushed against her body here, but maybe it could have that a bit more up and down. Almost like a little flappy. Like, how does he show that he's happy as well? Like, he lands. And let me just see something. He does. It also feels like, maybe that's intention, but it feels like that creature is driving the move back. And it's not her holding on moving the character over so just watch out how you want to portray this is this you know is there maybe maybe you see little fins or whatever that is arms flapping and maybe something strong in the legs and the head goes over this way almost signaling hey you know okay let let go of me i want to move over and then this happens or is it her holding and then adjusting but either way once you're here and you got that cute little thing that could be a little bit of something in the leg but i would bring that up and down with some flappy and maybe it's something slightly bigger in the head she's cute but the thing is right now it's almost like everything's about her it's still all about her this could be a pillow and then when this happens i like that she's not too big in in her movement like there's some cute stuff in there but then you can make a bigger deal out of out of him he can have a bigger waddle with like in the body so there's a kind of like that was a moment, now this is a moment, if that makes sense. All subjective, but he's probably not that heavy, but it could also be interesting if you had, even if it's cubes or anything in the background, and then, boom, with this, she would maybe take one step over, and then, you know, this thing would be here, and you would have to pan over the camera a little bit. But because we have objects in the scene, we understand what the camera is moving. Because we wouldn't if it's all empty. Just kind of open the shot a little bit and give it, give it the body a bit more complexity. Because technically, if I do my onion skinning here and draw that box, she is kind of always in that box. So if we need to get her out of that fixed position and kind of just open up the shot. Again, it doesn't have to be crazy. Just a little bit of a... Because then you can combine it into boom. Then she moves over, turn off the onion skin here, and then she takes a step over, so she's then maybe almost a bit bent over, and then she would shoot up again with the reverse into this, and that's this moment of, mm. so she really goes from something like that to oh, really straightening back, like really a bigger like squeeze hug there, like, oh, and then turn into 
maybe slightly more over because he is just moving a bit stronger. I mean, she wants to be close to him, not move away, but something like that, if that makes sense. It's a bit more movement in the scene. And even a bit of up and down will kind of help to kind of open this up a bit. And like I said, with some objects so you can understand the camera move. And that's kind of that. I know it's first pass, just throwing out a couple ideas. Obviously, feel free to take uh, or ignore whatever you need. And that's it. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.